Hello everyone, so this time I would like to share a video on how to create chords with stoppers. So this method is pretty much the same as the one I showed for spaghetti strap. However, I wanted to show it to you in the context of chords and stoppers because there are a few details that need some tricks to make it work better. Okay, so here I have prepared just a simple hoodie and the hood part is two layers. So this is usually the setup that I create uh, for this type of detail. So for the top layer, I have two holes al already created. And then for the bottom layer, I have baseline created where the holes are on the top layer. And here I added internal line where the cord will be attached to. Okay, so first I will create the cord. It will be one centimeter width, 10 centimeter length. Okay. And for that, I use this cord fabric. So in this case, it is the same as body fabric, but of course it might be that you have to adjust the physical properties depending on what kind of cord you want to create, whether it's very stiff or it bends well, um, but this time it's totally the same as the body. Now I will do the sewing. So I will sew it to those internal lines that I have prepared and I will position it very close. Okay and simulate and at this point I will already reduce particle distance to 5 and additional thickness collision to 1 because the hole is a really small shape and both the hood and the cord is trying to create space around it so that's why it might be that there's a lot of collision issues especially here so that's why it's good to reduce the collision thickness. Okay, now I will create the actual cord. So the cord will be rather thin. So I want to create one millimeter cord in the middle. So for that, I need to offset as internal line and offset by 4.5 millimeter from each side, which will create one millimeter in the middle. Okay, and then the next step is to cut and sew. And to the side pieces, I don't want to see them, so that's why I will add this cord transparent, which is the same fabric as cord, but I um, reduce the opacity to zero. And simulate. And as you can see, even though the particle distance is five, um, I do want to reduce it to a lower one, just so that the cord is smoother. Like that. And about these two pieces, why I use them, uh, I have created quite a few of these cords. And if I don't use this method, those cords get very crazy in the simulation. They have collision issues. And the worst part is that they twist very easily and those twists are a bit difficult to fix. Um, so one time I just thought maybe I need some helping patterns. And uh, then I thought of this method. Um, so far, uh, this has been pretty bulletproof, it's always very stable and it works in all kinds of occasions. Spaghetti straps, cords for stoppers, other cords. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend this method. Anyway, so now we will set up the cord for the stopper. Uh, there are a few things you can do if this is good enough result, uh, you can leave it as this, but I actually want it to seem like the cord is coming out from inside, even though the cord is not fully going into the tunnel and it's not really true to life simulation um, but I still want it to look like it um, so for that one easy thing is to just move these internal lines outside from um, these circles where the holes are placed um, that will create that kind of look very easily and another thing in case there are a lot of collision problems because as you can see there's one centimeter going in um, maybe the, if the holes are really small in this case the holes are quite big um, if the holes are really small maybe the one centimeter doesn't really fit in and in that case you can take and just cut some parts off at the end because those really don't matter and i actually lost sewing in this case so i will add it back Yeah, so this can definitely help you if there are any collision issues. Okay, now we have to figure out um, how, where to place the stopper because I want to add 
um, points and I will sh uh, later on you will see why these points are necessary. So here, maybe around here, I will add a point to each side. And then, okay, I'll add, add internal line. It will be easier to see. Okay, internal line here and maybe I will add somewhere here. Yeah. Okay, that's one. So around here, I will place the stopper. And one thing that you can skip if you want, but one aspect that is quite helpful is to cut off this part. Um, I will show you why. So let's say I will add a line here and then a line down here. And then I will take these lines and cut and sew. So this basically is for the purpose when you want to change the length of the of your cord because I will add tacks and when you cut a pattern the tacks disappear. So in case you, you finish everything and then you realize oh I actually want this to be like 30 centimeter long and then you want to elongate it and then you have to adjust the tacks or the tacks disappear if you cut it. So um, there are many problems that come from that, so that's why it's easier just to cut and sew this part. And then you can freeze these two parts where the stopper will be um, attached to, and then you can do whatever you want with this part. Um, so that's a quite um, useful thing to do. However, I'm not going to do it now. And I think also here you have to cut it. How to do it quickly? So when you cut, a piece it splits the sewing so here you can see on those helping lines you now have these two sewings so you can right click on the sewing add point to pattern end add point to pattern start and then it adds exactly the points where the sewing is and then I can add internal lines and I can cut and sew same to the other side And cut and sew. Okay, so here you have the middle part that you can adjust anytime you want, and then you have the side parts where where the stopper will be attached to, and you can set it um, very nicely, freeze it, never touch it again, and then you have you can adjust um, this part. Okay, so now is the time to add the stopper. So I will switch off these line. Oh no, I still need them. I will add them. So first, um, I have prepared the stopper already. So this is the one from Connect. Oh, where is it now? It's free, so you can use it easily. And what I will do, I have to use tack to tack together two points on this cord so that the cord can go through these two holes. So first, I want to check the length of the tack that I should use. So maybe it could be seven millimeter. So this, I, I use the line measure tool, which is quite useful at times, okay, seven millimeter. So now it's time to add the tack. I add it usually in 3D window because it's a bit more easy than adding it in 2D because often it like just sticks to the sidelines of the small pattern. It doesn't go into the middle and it's better to add it in the middle of the pattern, not the side. Okay, I will hide this and next one, I, uh, the other one I will add here. I think it's good to add two, but also it depends on the situation. And I will adjust the thread length to seven millimeters. So the thread length determines the distance between these two points that will be tacked. If you leave it at zero, then the patterns will come very close to each other. Okay. So 
so the small prep is finished and I can now position uh, the stopper. So first I, I glued it to the cord and now I will just manually turn it. Okay. So here some refinement of course is necessary. Oh, did it fall again? Where's my sewing? Oh, I cut it and the sewing, <laughs> sewing got lost again. That's weird. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. That looks much better. Um, yeah, so where was I? Oh, okay. So as those tags are added, also some pins can be useful because as you can see it it, um, it drops down and it's actually now interacting with the hood but it shouldn't so i will add one pin um, pin here and then i can very easily control the position does it have some weight i think i removed it yeah usually i remove any weight from those trims because I don't want the weight to mess anything up and also in this case definitely some refinement is necessary and another thing is that this stopper as you can see the holes are quite big um, so it does require a thicker cord otherwise this looks kind of fake so one thing either I can change the size of the stopper to a smaller one or I can just add some additional thickness rendering so 1.5 seem to be good but yeah definitely need some refinement here I definitely need to do some refinement so it's perfectly placed and I think here the tack position is not really good so I need to adjust it a little bit okay something like that well, of course, I can make it more perfect, more perfect, more perfect, but um, yeah, at some point you can just stop. <laughs> um, unless you do like some crazy close-up, maybe, you know, no need to waste time to make it super, super perfect. Anyhow, this is basically the idea of it, and I can easily copy it to the other side. I hope sewing is there. Yes, sewing is there. And then also the tacks you can mirror paste. Oh, where are they? Mirror paste, mirror, pa mirror paste. Okay, I have to do it manually. Okay, so the tacks are also added. And then I have to reposition this one again because they do float around quite a lot, unfortunately. That's why usually I set them nicely and then I just freeze it and never touch it again. So I usually add this detail at the end where I don't need to simulate the, the hood itself as well. Or I even cut off these parts and um, only the middle is frozen so that's also an option so depending on uh, what's your situation how you want to get go about it and then the next step as I mentioned because I cut off these two parts so I can freeze them and then I can now adjust the length of this cord so if I want something more dramatic quite well well this kind of looks awkward doesn't really look very natural so i feel like i still need to refine it to actually make it look very natural but um basically that's the that's the idea of um this method now i deleted the the pin so maybe the pin was making it more natural unnatural so i still have to maybe add a pin here Oh yeah, I think that's better.
And sometimes it's not possible to really add the pin. I mean, it Chloe keeps on adding the pin somewhere else except where I need it to add. So then you can go into pin box mode. And then oh, I actually added it, but I didn't even see it. And then you can add it in 2D window. This is also uh, something I use a lot. Okay, so that's it for the video. Um, I hope this method is useful and it makes the process of creating chords with stoppers a little bit easier for you. And yeah, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.